Hello and welcome to our newly minted YouTube channel. In Is that how they make them? They mint them? Yes, they do. Oh. <laughs> and in this very first video, you're going to get a look behind the scenes at some of the prep work we do for these podcasts. We do. And we have an exciting week. This is an exciting first video. This is super exciting. Because there are three brand new Oreos that we are going to be trying for the first time. That Freshly minted. Freshly minted Oreos, why, not mint Oreos. Why don't you say your names for the folks that don't know the voice with the name? Oh, sure. My name is Brian. I'm Danny. I'm host Amy. That one should have been easy. <laughs> Hopefully. Yes. And we are the Food Scientist Podcast. Yes. So today we have three different Oreos. We're going to start with the Pina Colada. Pina Colada. Which are Oreo Thins. Thin. And this is all part of the uh, My Oreo Creation vote. So Oreo, uh, these are all fan created, right? Or are they, or did these come from the people Vote for your favorite. Three new flavors. You pick the winner. Oh, okay. And you can win thousands of prizes. Ooh. Thousands of dollars worth of prizes or thousands of prizes? It could just be one Oreo. Oh, yeah. 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 We're Come giving on, a thousand something. people an Oreo. Uh -huh. Thanks. So let's try them. These, all right. Uh, do you want to know what the package says about them? But yeah, tell everyone what the package says. So it's pina colada. It's, oh, sorry. Oh, you haven't memorized? So I was going to show you. Yeah, that. no. So it's pina colada flavor cream, artificially flavored. Yeah. But it's pineapple and coconut flavored cream, okay. artificially okay. flavored. Let's just. Okay, sorry, Brian. so yeah, there man. you go, folks. Yeah, I'm sure that they can really read that, Ryan. <laughs> they want to see what the packaging looks like. So we're starting with these because. I think that they're not going to be the best of the bunch. In fact, I think they're probably going to be the worst. So let's see. Hey, Brian, sniff that. Okay. I'm taking two because I'm optimistic. You know, part of the Oreo experience when you try a new Oreo is is the smell. I'm not talking. I'm eating. What would you say oh, they smell like? You though? can easily take the top off. Because I smell I smell <laughs> pineapple. Yes. When you eat one, you'll taste pineapple. Now with the cream, I'm only tasting pineapple here. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's no coconut. Oh, maybe it will be this later. Yeah. There's a hint at the Ooh. end. Oh. Yeah. Now I'm getting the full pina colada effect. Not the full pina colada. This is a well, virgin I mean, I'm pina not, colada. Yeah, there's no alcohol. We're in not it. getting is drunk. Is there alcohol? No, okay. No. I kind of like them, but I like pineapple. I would add rum to the end of this. Yeah, I would dip them in rum. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, rum cream. Ooh. Yeah, okay, so get these and dip them in rum. There you go, pina colada. Moving on. They are better than I thought. They are better. They are they're better. not, um, they're no coconut thins. But I love, I love all things coconut. They do taste like pina colada. Mm. The flavor isn't as overwhelming as I thought it was no. going to be. So here's number two. This, I don't really understand how it's going to work as an Oreo. It's this kettle corn flavored mm. cream. With puffed millet pieces. Uh, what are millet pieces? I millet is like a grain. Pieces of the corn? Uh, I think millet is a grain. Way to prepare for the show, guys. Um, for the actual podcast, we'll have to Google that first. Uh, that, it scares me. There's pieces of grain in well, a cookie cream this don't This is going to scare good. you even more once oh, you get Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wow. Follow us on social media. We will definitely These, be posting pictures of this. This is from the new Oreo Chunky line. This is a kind of a train wreck of cream filling here. It, do you need a picture of this? Yeah. yeah I, mean, I think they're employing kindergartners. We should alert the uh, child labor I have never seen law some... people. That's... But anyways, down the hatch. Wait. Sniffing. Licking. It smells like something else. I can't place it. It smells like caramel corn. Oh, yes. All right, cream doesn't really taste that much. There's some flavor in the cookie too. There is now. Whatever this is is not kettle corn. There's caramel corn flavor in the cookie because I ate the top half. I didn't eat the okay. cream part yet. Maybe it's residual. That's probably it. I think it's just a regular vanilla cookie. Yeah. I think I see millet pieces. I still don't know what they are, though. Oh, no, there's definitely chunks of millet in here. Millet, I only know millet and birdseed. Oh, good. Oreos with birdseed. 
Delicious. It's it's more of a corn popcorn flavor experience having the whole thing together than. I don't know. I feel like I'm eating a farm field. That wasn't on my bucket list. I feel like a more appropriate name for these would be Cracker Jack. Mm. Mm. Yes. But probably licensing, they couldn't do that. And also, you're missing out those sweet, sweet candied peanuts. It's more of Crunch and Munch. What? Oh, okay. Sure. Because Crunch and Munch doesn't have peanuts in it. Right. Cracker Jack does. Fiddle Faddle, yeah, has the different kinds, yeah. too. Um, what, I don't know. What do you guys think? I had one, and that's plenty. I like them. I, I already missed the pina colada. They're not an Oreo. They're just like a cookie, but I like them. Mm. Yeah, they're definitely more like a cookie. It tastes like uh, it tastes like something that you would get maybe from the Girl Scouts or something. You know what's yeah, funny? Yeah, I was just thinking that. that. I'm like, this seems like a one and done Girl Scout cookie yeah. novelty flavor. Yep. What I know what I specifically thought of is if you remember when we did the Girl Scout cookie knockoff episode mm -hmm. and there's the Walgreens which uh, find us on uh, foodscientist.net yeah <laughs> there was the Walgreens caramel dolce de leche yes. one where you're like oh this isn't a Girl Scout cookie but tastes like it should be same this, thing same yeah. thing no, um, no well, kettle corn I'm not getting enough of the salt I no. love kettle corn I don't love there's these. maybe a little bit of a salty flavor like but I'm not really hint. getting it. a hint, hint yeah so I think caramel corn I'm or cracker jacks without the peanuts I'm impatient but I'm oh, oh, oh. And these they have the chocolate cookie folks and these yeah. are the cherry cola cherry cola flavor with popping candy and two-tone filling Two tone, okay. Yes, red, red and white. white. Oh, okay. And popping candy, you said. Yeah, and popping candy. Yeah. open. Like cola, these fizz. I am. I get it. Yeah. I am. I am not excited about the flavor of this. I'm super excited. I'm about not the, excited about the popping but, candy. Oh, I love the popping candy. I miss the fireworks Oreos. It's, why? The it's, fireworks Oreos <clears throat> made me fall in love with plain Oreos again. It was like a plain Oreo, but with a little pizzazz. Because really sometimes you're Everything sometimes you're yeah no oh. if it's like the fireworks ones it's legit popping because you want to eat sometimes with things exploding in your mouth That's I fine. do yeah look at that beauty you ooh smell them you gotta smell them oh that does smell oh like wow that, or excuse me it smells so like cola, cola. That, is, cola. that is a cherry cola smelling yes. cookie and I'm again, looking separates at, really easily yeah I usually what is with you and not just eating an Oreo like an Oreo. This because is how you Danny, eat an Oreo, Danny. No, 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 no. I agree with you, but we have to represent. There are a lot of people who like to lick the cream first, so I'm doing this for you people. Though it looks like there's way more white than red. Well, that's because you, if you separate it the other way. But that's how it naturally separated. I didn't. Uh, hold force on. It. I'm gonna Amy this cookie, but double. All right. All right. right. So you take this side off, and then you take that side off, and you have just a cream disc. And one side of the cream disc is predominantly red. And one side of the cream ah. is, is predominantly white. But if you look at the cross section, the red part is very little. That's from that bite. But if you did it the other way, it would be different. It's half and half. Um, so I'm, now, I'm now that say, I've done this, yeah, I, I just I, the cream first? I just need to say, this doesn't sure. need to be a cookie. This does not need to be a cookie. So then I should just eat the cream. Go for it. Go. Yeah, yeah. do that first. If I want the, the flavor of cherry cola, there are other candies I could have. I don't need this in an Oreo. Oh, but there's a sweet, sweet Pop Rocks in there. I haven't gotten... No, you just have to... I, I, I'm going to say this, I'm going to say this kindly. Just suck on it. Yeah, maybe I'm chewing too much. Yeah. Um, you got to let the cream, like, kind of... Yeah, your because mouth. right now it just tastes like they're, oh, there we go. There, now mm -hmm. I'm getting it. But at first it just tasted like uh, there was like old sugar in it that didn't mix It's well. all in the technique. You have to let it linger, let the cream melt, then the Pop Rocks do their thing. I think just doing the cream uh, helped you out yeah. as well, too. Yeah, uh, yeah I, don't, I don't need the, the popping. Um, that's, that's doing nothing for it. How's the popping for you? Are you loving it as much as... I'm not getting any popping. I just did yeah. a second one to just have a lot of it. <laughs> just, have, just take the cream. Sit it on your tongue, let, let it just dissolve. Spread it around your mouth. I'm not going to demonstrate that. And you'll get it. Don't chew. When you chew, you destroy the, the pops. The whole time you guys were talking previously, I just had it sitting on my tongue. No, you got to spread it around. You got to, like, really get rid of the cream so all that's left is the pot rock, pop rocks, and then it doesn't. I got a little bit with the first one I ate, but not It might hit you in a little bit, because I, I keep getting the, the... It's at the end. Yeah, it... I mean, it's like, uh, you know, I, I... I don't think this one's my favorite. It's you know like I'm doing Elka-Seltzer. You know what this is? 
Um, What's up? This is a reminder of why you use root beer in a float and not cherry cola. Because it's got, like, the creaminess of a float. Yeah. But if I said to you, hey, Brian, root beer Oreos. Hey. Would you be in? Yeah. Actually, I think they could actually call them root beer Have float. you never had milk and Pepsi? Yes. That was a thing. Because I watched Laverne It's not Charlie. a float, but it's still the cream milk with mm-hmm. Pepsi. And it's actually not as bad. It's not yeah. horrible. It doesn't. I've had, like, yeah. an old school, like, New York egg cream, which has a little bit of cream. Some chocolate syrup and then seltzer water. No, no, no. That's the not closest that I will get to caffeine, to anyway, carbonating milk. This is not as good as milk and Pepsi. So yeah, I, I mean, okay. Here's the thing. It's not it, bad. It's yeah. a sugary cookie. It is not bad. Wait, I, I want to go back to milk bad. and Pepsi. Mm-hmm. What? Hey, did you never watch Laverne and Shirley? I watched Laverne and Shirley. Was thing like in the the what eighties? You know what I was? I was, I was because of Laverne and Shirley. I was a little kid. I know that much. You know, what it is? I was more of a Lenny and Squiggy guy. So. Yeah, there you go. But um, no, Laverne would take milk and Pepsi, and I yeah. think I feel like they did that just for the show. I don't know if anyone ever did that, but I like, finally uh, did it. Uh, because of Laverne and Shirley, I don't or think before? So. I think I don't. I was okay. real little. I don't know. Did your family drink Verners? Yeah, so from uh, Michigan. That's a, yeah. yeah, they don't have that everywhere. Yeah, so their judgment is off. No, Verner's is really good. And Verner's mm. had ice cream for a while. That was the bomb. I loved the Verner's ice cream. It's what makes a Boston cooler, Verner's in vanilla ice cream. But if you've ever wanted to drink milk and have it taste like, is this starting to curdle because of the texture? Add Pepsi or some other cola, and there you go. I do think it was a cheap milkshake. I don't know. Unfrozen milkshake. I'm horrified by both of you. Hey, don't knock it till you try it. I'm not going to. I'm having a kettle corn cookie to watch the taste of that one. Okay, so wow. let's let's vote. What one? If you had to vote for one of these, which one would you vote for? Uh, I, I do you even have to think about it. No, I don't because I would actually go with the pina colada. Me too. Surprising. With, beforehand, mm-hmm. we thought that was going to yeah. be the worst of them, and um. But you have to like pineapple, but I do. So if I, like I do it. too, yeah. and I like coconut. I'm just putting Yeah, and you have to, and you have to tolerate thins. Mm-hmm. But I think it works as a thing. Now, Amy, do you you coconut? How do you feel about coconut? I like coconut. Okay, see, I like coconut too. I but love if you coconut. if you don't like coconut, I don't think that will uh, disqualify you from liking these because the coconut There's, isn't. Now, no coconut flavor. Now I have a question. Mm-hmm. If you like pina coladas. We're not singing. We don't have the rights to that song. Okay, and it's right. also about adultery, which why would you sing? Anyway. Well, um, anyway. Do you want to be adulterers who are anyway. together? Um, if you're going to only try one, pina colada is the way to go. Why are they thins and not regular? Yeah. That mystery is but still out there. But if you hate there. pineapple, then obviously don't yeah, try if you don't like, If you don't like pina coladas, don't get them. If you don't like pina coladas, do some, do some soul searching. Like, really think about that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyway, that's all we have for today. Make sure uh, you look in the description for links of where you can find us. You can uh, download our podcast wherever you listen to podcasts or go to foodscientist.net. We, well, are, the, we are the Food Scientist Podcast. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Till next time.